Oh, sorry there, let's play. You just caught me in the middle of some classical music rapping or something. <laughs> Let us continue to play Return of the Phantom, although I already have been continuing because it takes forever to walk everywhere. So, best get a head start anywhere. Hey, there is a, a man. Ooh, he looks, he's either carrying a baguette or he's a painter. Let us find out. I am the bread man. Where do I put the bread? <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Who are you? My name is Edgar ah. Degas. I am an artist. You are an artist. What do you paint? What do you paint? Ballerinas. Young, female ballerinas. Ugh. Lithe, supple, young, female ballerinas. Degas, you're, you're positively creepy. I have not seen any ballerinas around. Oh, they're here, all right. One must only know where to look. I do not know where to look. Oh! The painter licks his lips and grins. You enjoy painting young females, monsieur. You need to report him as a pedophile now. Don't you? <sighs> Are you lost? Well, can you direct me to the ballet studio? I'm working on what will undoubtedly be considered a masterpiece after I am dead. That is a very odd phrase to be using, Degas. I'm not sure where it is. Oh. Well, I'll just wander until I find it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just loved how he said, Oh, I'll just wander until I find it, because I will be walking forever just like you. How do you know you must be respected after your death? How? Ah, it is the way it always works, monsieur. Artists of my day are never appreciated until after their death. You should know, monsieur. You have seen the future. I have been there. I painted young, supple, lithe young ladies there. <laughs> the future? How do you know that? What do you mean? What do you mean? I do not know what you mean. I may have been from the future, but I do not know what you mean. The mysteries of the universe are not ours to explain. We must merely experience them and benefit from what they teach us. Que sera, sera. Diga winks at me. Ew. He must know I'm here. Degar completely creeps me out. Adieu. To you. Adieu. 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 Carry your... Take your bread out of here. Let's go up there. Now maybe we should follow you. Stop you from touching any of the young ladies. You can't have them. Hurry up, Raoul. We're trying to stop a pedophile. Where's he gone? Oh, bolster that. I'm not going to look for him if he's not right there. Yeah, we let the little ladies be touched, no. <laughs> oh. Nobody here. I imagine they're all still locked. As they were. Let's go see Monsieur Richard. Yeah, there's a red door. It's on fire. <laughs> I'll go there next. And the cabinet's not there, obviously, and... Is there a book about the Phantom? No. No book about the Phantom. Richard, let us speak to Monsieur Richard. Or Mr. Richard. Hey, Mr. Richard. How are you doing, buddy? Ah, Raoul! Feeling better, I hope. You look much better. You were very lucky, my friend. But let's get down to business. I have some things to tell you about our ghostly friend. Please update me. Please update me on the Phantom's actions. I need to update my file of facts. I have a new note from him. It is the same handwriting as the previous note. Wow. It must be from him. What does the new note say? He wants Christine Day to sing the lead at the wedding of Isabel tonight, not Carlotta the star. Here's the note on top of the desk. Not Carlotta. Not Carlotta. Miss Christine Day shall sing the lead in the wedding of Isabel. Not that toad, Carlotta. Please honor this request, or the tragedy that follows will be on your hands. Christine dying. 
which yes is a quote from the uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber movie, but I just love it. What does the old note say? Christine, die! <laughs> I told you about it last week. My head bump on your head has really affected you. The ghost wants us to pay him a monthly salary and reserve one of the best boxes for him for every performance. For nerve. No, no. Here, clean it yourself. It's in the tray. It's in the tray. My payment of 20,000 francs shall be due the first of every month. Please give it to Madame Gary for placement in box Damn 5, it. which shall remain unsold for every performance. Failure to comply with this request shall result in great misfortune. I went to say Madame Giri for him. Say Giri when he was going to say Giri, but then I followed him and said Giri. Damn it. Damn it indeed. Which box does he reserve? Box 5, you idiot. Box 5? It's one of the best ones, too. We could sell it every night if we wanted. If we wanted, but we don't. We never know when he will use it, so none of us have ever seen him. Madame Giri may have had some communication with him, though. Box 5? Can I see Box 5? No. If it's not locked, you'll find it through the Loge Corridor. We have examined it thoroughly, I assure you. If the Phantom does so. go there, it is by prestigity. 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 By magic. I think you may be a little dyslexic like me. <laughs> oh well. Tell me about Madame Giri. Giri. Madame Giri. She looks after the boxes. She is the one who finds the notes the ghost leaves for us, usually in box 5. It is about time for her to report to work, so you may find her cleaning the boxes now. Odd woman, I might add, but she does her job. Which is what she gets paid for. Tell me about Christine Die. Day. Damn it. What do you mean? Aren't you two, well, Ooh. haven't you two been seeing each other? We have? Well, it seems to be the talk of the theater. Ooh. Are you sure you don't need a doctor? No, 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 no. <laughs> you cannot fool me, Raoul. I saw how you looked at her when you awoke. <laughs> Typical Parisian, you. <laughs> be nonchalant and matter-of-fact about it, eh? Well, what do you want to know about her? Everything. Where does she come from? Christine died. I knew her father before he died. He was a brilliant violinist with the orchestra. They emigrated here from Scandinavia, Scandinavia, I believe. After her mother died, she was studying ballet when one of the directors heard her sing. Christine died. What is her job here? Christine died. No, that's not a job. She was placed immediately into the chorus. She has had two minor parts since then. She has never sung the lead. Is she really a good singer? Yes, she is. I am not sure if she could sustain a leading role. She is too young and undisciplined. But she mm. has gotten better and better just over the last few weeks. It is as if she acquired an outstanding teacher. She improved leaps and bounds in really a, a few days. Christine died. <laughs> Will she sing the lead in The Wedding of Isabel? Yes, I have agreed to it. Besides, Carlotta has mysteriously gained a throat ailment. Otherwise, she would have thrown a fit. Christine died. A teacher? What do you mean? Practically daily, she comes in with some new technique, or it seems she has learned more about emotion, or her voice seems much stronger. It's a number of things. Things only a trained musician could hear in her voice. Someone is teaching her, there is no doubt. Wait, wait. How does she learn more about emotion and that's changing her music? I hope that's just meaning like she understands the emotion of music more, not like she has learned how to cry. Thank you, monsieur. I shall see you later. Christine knows how to cry. Adieu, Raoul. You take it easy now, we. Oui. We. Oui. <laughs> hmm. And we're now out of time. But like I said, we keep walking because. Hey. Time to slow. Walk this way, Raoul. After this, we will go see Madame Jury. Bye bye.